the woodland. Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, showing rare courage in the face of disaster. In the air. On horseback. Or in a screaming squad car. Ranger Bill, his mind alert, a ready smile, unswerving, loyal to his mission. And all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. Look at Stumpy. <laughs> oh, old timer give himself much pain, it looked like. <laughs> Say, come on. Let's see if we can help him. <laughs> hey, hey, can we give you a hand, Stumpy? Uh, hey, maybe Bill holds you. Henry Paul and I push you. Yeah. All right, all right. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, hands your little joke. Uh, now, why don't you go off somewhere and do your laughing? <laughs> The thing I can't figure out, old-timer, is why all this sudden attention yeah. to how you look. <laughs> I can't remember the last time you tried to comb your beard. Oh, boy, that way before your time, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> well, can a feller try to look a little more cared for if he wants to? I just think we ought to take care of ourselves, that's all. It uh, wouldn't have anything to do with that film company that's coming to Naughty what? Pine, would it? The what? No, I'm not hearing any film company coming. What this all about, Bill? Well, it looks as though our friend Stumpy has the jump on you fellas. The government is sending a camera crew and all the works out here to make a film of animal conservation. Wow! Oh, boy. Right here to Naughty Pine? That's right. And I have the feeling that this might have a great deal to do with Stumpy's sudden vanity. Oh, <laughs> oh I can see it now. Stumpy oh, and the yeah. Okay. <laughs> Playing the part. Go ahead and laugh. <laughs> and I used to be pretty good at things like that. Oh, when you ever do any acting, old-timer? Well, I made a pretty good Moses once in a church pageant. <laughs> well, this is a, a little different. Yeah. It sure is. Besides, I don't think they'd need any of us. I'm sure they'll have all the people involved. <laughs> we'll see. When they get a good look at this old weather-beaten outdoorsman, they'll see the advantages of what they call uh, local color. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, only local color you supply would be white from space fry. <laughs> 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 uh, hold it on, fellas. We got company. Yes, sir. Can I help you? I'm looking for Chief Ranger Bill Jefferson. Well, you found him, sir. Well, how do you do? Uh, I don't know your rank. Bill will do. I'm happy to know you, Bill. I'm Dick Stark, assistant director of the film we're going to be shooting in this area. Oh, yes. We were just talking about that. Uh, glad to meet you. Uh, these are a few of my rangers. Uh, Gray Wolf. Oh, I'm glad to meet you. How do you do? And uh, Stumpy Jenkins. I'm glad to know you, sir. Brown cow? Uh, what's that? Oh, uh, <laughs> excuse me, young feller. That was just a little uh, vocal exercise I do to keep in shape. Oh, I see. And uh, this is my ward, Henry Scott. Happy to meet you. Same here. Well, now that the formalities are passed, you'll probably be wanting those maps the government ordered. Uh, Henry, would you get them from my desk? Sure thing. That's right, Bill. We hoped you'd be able to show us the best area to shoot as many animals as possible. <laughs> oh, what hit your funny bone this time, old timer? Uh, I was just thinking how funny that sounded. To make a film on animal conservation, you want to shoot as many animals as possible. <laughs> um, well, you see, that's just a term we use for making the pictures. Oh, I know. Oh, Sonny, I know all about that there flicker lingo. You know, I'm Are these right the interested maps, Bill? in. Uh... All right, Henry. 
Now, uh, as you can see, Mr. Stark... Uh, Dick, Bill. Okay. As you can see, Dick, I've outlined a number of areas which I feel you'd be most likely to find the largest variety of animals. And then uh, I'm sure you have other considerations, such as terrain. So uh, here I've marked uh, kind of a variety of locations. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Uh, Bill, this is a great help. We had anticipated spending up to a week looking for a suitable location, but I'm sure one of these will be just right. Glad to be of help. Anything else we can do? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, need any other help with this here uh, picture? We can do just about anything you need. Well, there is one thing. Uh, I thought so. Uh, uh, what is it? Is there a pizzeria in Naughty Pine? Uh, a pizzeria? Yeah, sure. Sure, we've got two or three. Why? Do you like Italian food? Well, I'm learning to. The director of this film, Stuart Long, is a fanatic on the subject. If he could, he'd have pizza for breakfast, brunch, lunch, afternoon tea, and dinner, and, well, I guess you get the picture. Yeah, I thought that I liked pizza. Well, if you do, you'll have a lifelong friend in Mr. Long. Is that so? Uh, you know... I can hardly wait till I can sink my teeth into one of them pizzerias. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, isn't it a coincidence that the director of your picture and me have such a common love? Uh, I uh, didn't know that you liked pizza, Stumpy. Yeah, that new to me, too. You always call them sick pancakes. Uh, well, I... Uh... Henry, why don't you show Mr. Stark where the pizzerias are here in town, and that way there'll be no confusion. And if there's anything else we can do, Dick, just let us know. Will do, Bill, and thanks again. If all goes well today, we should be able to start shooting tomorrow. Uh, who's that out there? Just me, Stark. Uh, is that you, Mr. Long? That's right. Wow, what country. What a day. Stark, this picture is going to do me a lot of good, in more ways than financial. Uh, that's nice, sir. Right now, it's only 4.30 in the morning. The only thing that'll do me any good is more sleep. <laughs> I can't understand people like you. Here we are in the most beautiful country I've ever seen, full of sounds and color that knows who a greenhouse is capable of, and all you want to do is sleep. <laughs> You don't know what you're missing. Oh, yes, I do, Mr. Long. Sleep. <laughs> I'll catch uh, the last 15 winks while you can. I'm going to look around this gorgeous location. I want everyone up and ready to work at 8 sharp. Got that? <sighs> I guess he has. Smiles on the frowning night, checkering the eastern clouds with streaks of light. Uh, and now, ere the sun advance his burning eye, the day to cheer and night's dank dew to dry, I must upfill <laughs> this osier cage of ours. You and, up fill a pocket with book and get to work, Stumpy. <laughs> Bill, sir, we get these no-trespassing signs up around filming place before eight. We're not moving very fast. Uh, 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 please, Grey Wolf, these are immortal words I'm uh, resuscitating. I know Romeo and Juliet, too. Here, you hold a sign when I hammer, huh? Uh, 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 all right. Uh, that hold it. Uh, uh, Grey Wolf. Ah, what do you want, Stumpy? How did you know that was Romeo and Juliet? Oh, everybody know that. Study it in school. Huh? Everyone, huh? Oh. How come I never studied it in school? It wasn't written yet when you were in school. <laughs> Why, you young whippersnapper, it was so. It says here that it was written way back in the 1500s. Well, I may be old, but... <laughs> you How are you getting along uh, with the signs, fellas? Well... <clears throat> Not as fast as we should. Uh, 
Great actors spending most of time warming air. <laughs> I hope you don't scare all the animals away with your reading, Stumpy. The camera crew will be pretty upset. Yeah, right. I hope you don't scare the camera crew away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, looks as though you have only a few more no trespassing signs to put up. We'll give you a hand. That pretty well isolates this area for the filming, doesn't it? That's right, Henry. They shouldn't be bothered now. And even more important, the animals shouldn't be bothered either. Now, I take this sign to the edge of the clearing for posting. You coming, Stumpy? Uh, let us away! Oh, brother. Boy. <laughs> that Stumpy's really stage struck, isn't he, Bill? Uh, you'll get over it, pal. The old timer's probably having more fun with us than we realize. Uh, let's get this sign up, huh? Okay. Uh, how about over there, on the other side of that clump of trees? Okay, looks like a good spot. Let's go. Mm-hmm. That lone pine beyond there would be a good spot. Yeah. Hey, look out, Henry! Hey! Wow! Hey, thanks, Bill. Oh, I didn't see that hole at all. All covered by the shrubbery. I almost didn't see it either, pal. Hmm... Looks like a little freak erosion. Yeah. Better make a note of it. Uh, where's my notebook? Bill! Mm, what is it, Henry? Look down in that hole. There's a man lying at the bottom. And he isn't moving. Easy with him now. <clears throat> we have him, Bill. Put the poor feller down, careful. Could you tell what was wrong with him down there, Bill? Uh, it's hard to tell. A few cuts and bruises. He obviously fell into the hole. That's easy to do. We almost did ourselves. Yeah. It's impossible to tell whether he has any internal injuries. No bleeding that I can detect. I think our best move would be to take him to the hospital on the double. No one seems to know where he is. Hmm. Uh, thanks, Marie. Oh, Marie. Uh, yes, sir? Is everything ready to go when he does show up? Well, sure. The crews are just waiting, Mr. Stark. Say, should I drive into town and get some coffee for all of us? It's past 8.30, you know, and it doesn't look as though Mr. Long's going to get here in the too near future. Mm, good idea. Oh, and Marie? Yes, sir? While you're in Naughty Pine, get hold of a sheriff and bring him back here, too, will you? No idea at all where he could have gone, huh? None at all, Sheriff. All I know is that he went for a walk early this morning. Mm -hmm. I was kind of drowsy, but I know he said something about starting at 8 sharp. So I'm sure he... I figured on be... getting right to work, huh? Yes. Now that... That means you were the last to see him then, doesn't it? I guess so. Unless one of the others was... Hey, wait a minute. What are you implying by that question? Now, now, simmer down, fella. Just trying to... Trying to organize the facts in my mind, that's yeah, all. I'm not sure I like your continuity. Eh, it's your pleasure. Eh, let's see. Anyone else missing from this bunch? Not that I know of. Mr. Star, Sheriff, I don't know if this will help any, but I just noticed that Mr. Long's car is still parked over there with the others. Uh, all the other cars there, too? Well, as far as I know, they are. Uh, just a minute, I'll look. Uh -huh. uh, what does she do around here? Well, she's a script girl and general errand runner. Uh-huh. Uh, have you looked around where he slept last night? No. It was that tent right over there. You want to see it? Yeah. Yeah, let's have a look. It's right in here. Uh-huh. Right, right over here, yeah. Uh, are those his things there? Uh? That's right. I don't know what he had on this morning. I only talked to him from my tent. I couldn't see him. Uh, where's your tent? It's the next one over, right over there. Uh huh. Well, it's a cinch you isn't too far away. How do you know that? Uh, look here. Here's his wallet with enough money in it to show he didn't take any with him. Well, this stuff in his car is still here. I'd say that at the most he's lost in the woods somewhere nearby. Hmm. Well, that's 
kind of relief anyway. Sheriff! Hey, let's go back outside. All the cars are present and accounted for, huh? Oh, that's right. Well, how did you know? The sheriff thinks that Mr. Long is just wandering around lost somewhere nearby. Well, then... Well, then if that's the case, well, why didn't he answer when we went out shouting for him? That's a good question. Uh, not bad at all. I can't even answer that one. Say, Sheriff, do you think he's too far in to be within earshot? Well, either that or possibly he's in some kind of situation where he can't answer. In any case, don't you think we'd better locate him? Well, you all sort of messed up any trail he left when you went searching for him. We'll need someone who's a lot more familiar with this part of the forest than I am. Well, right on cue. Here's what, the man we need. Uh, what's that? Good Ooh. morning, fellas. Uh, well, Cal, I didn't expect to find you out here. Uh, trying to get into the movies? Uh, morning, Bill. <laughs> Henry? Nope, this is strictly a business call, Bill. Oh? That's right. <laughs> Got a little mystery on our hands out here. Hey, I'll bet that's the... Hold it, Henry. A mystery, huh? Uh, let's see. Man arises early in the morning, wanders out into the forest... Uh-huh. Isn't heard from again. Uh-huh. All work stops. Uh-huh. Uh, man must be found. Uh, uh-huh. Sheriff called. Okay, uh... okay. You got the picture exactly. How'd you know? We found a man this morning, fallen in a hole not far from here. Oh. He wasn't carrying any identification, so we came here to see if he might belong here. Why, well, that's Stuart Long, the director of the film. Oh, was he hurt very badly? Well, we rushed him to the hospital and waited around for him to regain consciousness. The doc said that physically he was in good shape. But uh, he's afraid that uh, uh, Mr. Long, is it? That's right. That uh, Mr. Long might have had a pretty bad shock. This would explain his not coming to right away. He was uh, Mm -hmm. still unconscious when we left. Well, what do you say we all just sort of trot over to the hospital and see first if he's the right man and second how he is? Right. Marie, will you take care of things here? Tell the crew will be delayed in starting and to stand by until further notice. Oh, sure. Oh, I hope Mr. Long is all right. Now, when I last looked in, he was still sleeping. Wow. Still out, huh? Well, not exactly, Henry. His rate of breathing and pulse were back to normal. I'd say he was just sort of resting. Well, that's good to hear. Does it look as though there will be any complications? Uh, that's, that's hard to say, young fella. Uh, we'll know a great deal more after he wakes up. Uh, here we are. Mm-hmm. Mm, sure is dark in here. Uh, it's best not to startle a patient when he's waking from an experience such as Mr. Long has had. Hey, look! Henry, uh, quiet. But, but, but look! He's not here! Doctor, he was there just a few minutes ago when I looked in. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. He even spoke to me. What did he say? Well, he he asked where he was and who he was. Uh, Who he was? Yes, that's right, who he was. I just figured he was a bit groggy, so I started to find you. Well, I was afraid of that. What? What's wrong with him, Doctor? Sometimes severe shock can bring about a loss of memory in a person. Amnesia? That's right, Bill. That's why I warned him... Watch closely. There's no telling what a man will do if he's allowed to wander around not knowing who he is or how he got there. Hey, Babo, where's the death of mushroom and the cheese, huh? Uh, coming right up, Tony. I only got two hands. Uh, step him up, step him up. Uh. And what's yours, sir? Um, uh, may I, may I have a menu? Sure, right here in front of your face. Sir. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see it. Are you all right, mister? Here, have some water. Oh, yes. I, I'm all right, really. That's nice. And now maybe you like to give Tony your order, huh? Oh, yes, fine. Um... I'll have a, 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 a small sausage pizza. I want the smaller sausage. And what to drink? Uh, tea. With pizza? Ah. No, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, some kind of cola. Uh, this stuff okay? Oh, fine. 
You are you a stranger here, Bata, huh? Huh? Oh, yes, I guess so. Are you here on business or a vacation? You might say that. What? What, what you just said. Oh, wait, uh, let's start again. I'm lost. You, you think you are? <laughs> I think uh, Tony needs a drink of water. Mushroom and cheese. They're coming. Hey, Babo, you ever see that guy there before? Uh, which one? That one. At the end of the counter. Uh, no, no, i never seen him before. Why? Uh, he's a stranger kind of guy. He talks no sense. Well, it takes all kinds, Tony. It takes all kinds. Ranger headquarters, Bill Jefferson speaking. Hello, Bill. This is Dick. Oh, yes, Dick. Ain't news of Mr. Long yet. I'm sorry. Neither Cal's men nor mine have been able to find any trail. But no. we're keeping at it. Yeah, Bill, but how could he just disappear? That's a good question. I don't know how he could, but he has. Well, let us know the minute anything turns up, will you? Sure will. Now, just sit tight, Dick. We're as anxious to find him as you are. Thanks, Bill. Hope to hear from you soon, then. Right. Bye now. So long. Uh, hear anything about missing director, Bill? No, Grey Wolf. That was just Dick Stark wondering the same thing. I hope that poor feller's okay. Yeah, I imagine you do. Without a director, you'd never get into the film. Oh, I give that whole thing up, Henry. What? Give it up? <laughs> well, uh, come. Uh, you know how it would be. Uh, uh, lots of people would see the picture and... Uh, all them fan clubs would get started, oh, and uh, pretty and soon club. I'd be so tired from <laughs> signing autographs oh, and answering oh. fan mail that my work oh. here'd be way behind. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Shoo. Well, considering we're getting nowhere and tracking down Stuart Long... What's more, we got no idea what kind of predicament he may be in. You guys sure look like a jovial lot. No news, huh, Cal? Nope. Bill, I'm stuck. How can a man who doesn't know who he is or where he is, he got no money, how, how could a guy just disappear? I don't know. But I do know that sooner or later he's going to have to eat. And when you have no money and are hungry... You're bound to cause some kind of a noticeable hey, situation. Hey, 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 eat. <laughs> You're always hungry, Henry. No, 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 not me. Him. What are you trying to say, young feller? Come on, spit it out. Pizza. Didn't that Mr. Stark say that the missing man was fanatical on pizza? Nice catch, pal. Of course, his loss of memory wouldn't affect that. Cal, I think Henry has an idea worth invest... Uh, excuse me. Ranger headquarters, Bill Jefferson speaking. Bill, you got to do something. I called on the sheriff's office, but he's not there. Uh, Cal's right here, Tony. Now slow up. What's the trouble? I found a stranger guy just to have the dinner under the house. Well, <laughs> that's Cal's department. I'll let you spit. Huh? Hey, hey, wait a minute. What did he have to eat? Well, it, it was only a pizza, but it's the principle of the thing, Bill. We'll be right over, Tony. We want to talk to you. What's up, Bill? Henry was right. Only a little late. Tony's Pizza Palace just gave an unexpected free meal to a man I think was our missing Mr. Stuart Long. I'd have thought of that earlier, Bill. Oh, don't worry about that, pal. We all missed on that one. I just hope he gets a little hungry again this evening. It's a good thing there aren't many Italian restaurants in town. Mm. It's easy for us to split up this way and watch all three of them. Right. 
I just hope one of the other teams spots him real soon. That place across the street is closing in a few minutes. Maybe his having to run for it at noon scared him off. Mm, it's a possibility, pal. He can't be... Henry. Huh? D did you see him? Isn't that the man that Tony and Dick described? Where? Just going in. Yes, that's him all right. What are you going to do? Go right in after him. I'm sorry, sir. We're closing. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, that's too bad. Mr. Long, if you'll come along with me, we'll get you something to eat. And everything will be all right. Yeah, he's resting quietly now. I don't think he feels much like running away after the day he's had. Well, that's good. There's just one more thing. Yes, his memory. Yes. Is there anything you can do about it? Uh, oh, that's hard to say. Sometimes a temporary amnesia just goes away as quickly as it comes. Sometimes it's quite a while before any improvement can be made. I uh, don't like to bother you with business at this time, Dick. But uh, this telegram from the Department of the Interior arrived at the office for you. Oh, thanks, Bill. Hmm. Hmm. They wanted me to take over the picture and do it. Oh. I suppose they got tired paying all those people for doing nothing, huh? But worrying. Well, I suppose. Well, this is a break for me, but I could wish for different circumstances. I know just how you feel. Uh, Doc, I have an idea I'd like to try for restoring Mr. Long's memory. Yeah, I'm open for suggestions, Bill. What is it? Well, tomorrow morning, after he's had a good night's rest, I'd like to go for a walk in the woods with him in the area where... Oh, certainly is beautiful country. I can't remember when I've seen the... <laughs> you know what I mean. Mm -hmm, I certainly do, Mr. Long. I often thank God for a job that keeps me so in touch with his handiwork. Uh, let's walk over there by that clump of pine trees, huh? Oh, amazing how a group like that will grow so close together. They look like one tree. Mm-hmm. Happens quite often, though. Now, uh, right over here is another interesting quirk of nature. Oh, look out. Hmm? What's the matter? There's a deep hole there behind that shrubbery. Well, it's impossible to see it, Mr. Long. How did you know it was there? I... I was checking out the location. Came by here on my walk, and suddenly I was falling. Uh-huh. Do you remember that? To Mr. Long? Yes. Yes, I... I must have hit hard. I... I don't remember anything else. Hey, how did you know my name? Who are you? Well, you've had quite an adventure, Mr. Long. And I'll tell you all about it on the way back to town. <laughs> And I'll be back again to tell you another story, boys and girls, when we see you next week for more adventure with... Ranger Bill came to you transcribed from the studios of the Moody Bible Institute in Chicago. <laughs>